In August 2025, Italy approved the construction of the Strait of Messina Bridge, a massive project expected to cost about $15.5 billion. The goal is to connect mainland Italy to the island of Sicily. The ferry crossing itself takes about 20 minutes, but during busy times, that short trip can turn into hours. So being able to just drive across could make life a whole lot easier for locals. We'll get into the ambitious details later, but let's start with a pretty important question. Why hasn't this bridge been built already? Well, because building it means tackling the Strait of Messina. And that's probably one of the toughest regions to build something on that scale. And there are five main reasons for that. First up, earthquakes. This bridge would be built right above a major fault line in one of the most seismically active areas in Europe. The Strait of Messina sits in a restless part of Earth's crust, where the African plate is pushing toward the Eurasian plate. And that pressure doesn't move in one clean direction. It squeezes the ground in some places, pulls it apart in others, and creates a complicated mess of forces underground. Those extreme interactions lead to serious seismic activity, the kind that can wipe out entire cities. In 1908, for example, a massive earthquake hit this region and triggered a tsunami, sending waves estimated at around 40 feet high. Together, these events nearly destroyed Messina, Reggio Calabria, and dozens of nearby coastal towns. And tragically, more than 100,000 people lost their lives. The problem is that kind of constant, dangerous ground movement could threaten the bridge's safety. I mean that during construction and even after it's finished. Second, the distance. At the closest point, Sicily is only about two miles from the mainland. If we were talking about two cities, that's nothing. But for a suspension bridge, it's like trying to stretch a rubber band across a stadium and hoping it never snaps. It requires serious next-level engineering. To put it in perspective, the biggest suspension bridge in the world today is the Çanakkale Bridge in Turkey. The distance between its two main towers, the part that hangs completely over the water, is a little over 1.2 miles. For the Italian bridge, that main span would be almost twice as long. Once it's finished, the Strait of Messina Bridge would be the longest single-span bridge in the world. Then, we've got the currents. The Strait of Messina has some of the strongest tidal currents in Europe. The water can move fast, change directions quickly, and even form whirlpools. Most of the time, the main flow goes from south to north, but there's also a smaller current that runs the other way. They usually switch every six hours, and that makes any construction in or near the water a real struggle. The fourth big challenge is the wind. The strait acts like a funnel, meaning that strong, messy winds get pushed through it. And with very long suspension bridges, wind isn't just annoying it can make the whole structure shake in dangerous ways. The strongest wind recorded there in more than 20 years of monitoring was about 67 miles per hour. So yes, this new bridge would have to handle even stronger winds. And finally, the last big challenge is the environment. This stretch of sea is one of three of Europe's main highways for migrating birds, like the red-footed falcon or the honey buzzard. And that really matters because their survival depends on it. For many of these birds, the migration trip is already brutal. They have to cross two huge natural barriers, the Mediterranean Sea and the Sahara Desert. There's nowhere to rest on the water, and the desert is too hot and too long for many species to survive without stopping. So, Italy becomes one of their last safe places to land, eat, and recover before they take on the hardest parts of the journey. But things like noise and bright lights can disturb them. And because this area has strong legal protections for wildlife, projects often run into legal roadblocks. This new bridge plan is no exception. Environmental groups have already raised concerns, saying the project doesn't clearly show how they will avoid damaging nature. So there are problems with the distance, earthquakes, strong winds, powerful currents. And on top of that, birds might not like this bridge at all. Sounds like a lot to handle, right? But apparently, the designers and authorities think this new plan can deal with all of it. This huge bridge is expected to be finished sometime between 2032 and 2033. And if everything goes as planned, it would become the biggest infrastructure project in the Western world. 
Supporters say it could create about 120,000 jobs each year and give a real boost to southern Italy. From a technical point of view, it's honestly fascinating. It will be massive. In fact, it would be the biggest suspension bridge in the world. Its pillars would be so tall, they'd rise higher than the top floors of the Empire State Building. It's also designed to handle a lot of traffic. It will have three car lanes in each direction, plus a double railway line in the middle. In theory, it could carry around 6,000 cars an hour and about 200 trains a day. Even though the project has officially got the green light, many Sicilians are still doubtful. And honestly, you can't blame them. This bridge has a reputation for being a never-ending project that keeps coming back, then stalling again. You know, people have been dreaming up the Messina Bridge for a long, long time. In fact, plans go all the way back to the Roman era. At that time, they wanted to link the two sides with a chain of connected boats. But since that kind of bridge wouldn't be permanent, they gave up on it. We can say that the modern saga really took off in the 1960s. They hoped that connecting Sicily more directly to the mainland would bring in the kind of international investment that other parts of Italy had been getting for years. So they started throwing around all kinds of ideas. Some plans were pretty wild, like underwater tubes, floating supports, even a bridge with a middle section that could spin around. But none of those options were truly realistic. And that's the thing. Since 1969, the Strait of Messina Bridge project has been approved, then cancelled over and over again. Now, you might be wondering, okay, but why is this still so hard? Well, the distance is a huge deal. Like you already know, it would be the first time anyone's built a suspended bridge this massive. But from an engineering standpoint, it's doable. Then, you've got the natural obstacles we talked about earlier. Earthquakes, strong currents, and all that. But even those shouldn't be that impossible anymore. In Roman times, yeah, it would have been a disaster. A bridge made with barrels and boats wouldn't stand a chance. But today, we have the technology. Countries like Japan and Turkey have already built major bridges in highly active earthquake zones. And we don't even have to look that far. In the US, the Golden Gate Bridge sits close to the San Andreas Fault, which puts it at risk of a major quake. But engineers have strengthened it with systems designed to withstand the strongest earthquakes we can realistically expect. So, what really stands in the way now is more than the human obstacles, things like the massive price tag, tricky financing, and worries about the project being poorly managed. Okay, but since the project was recently approved, they can start finally building, right? Approval is a huge step, sure, but it doesn't mean they can immediately start pouring concrete in the strait. The project is on pause again. Italy's court of auditors have asked for more time to go through all the paperwork for something this huge. Still, the authorities say they can fix those issues and answer the court's questions. So the idea is still alive, it's just moving very slowly. And maybe one day, the Strait of Messina Bridge will finally move from paper to real life. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.